Hey guys, in this episode we will cover the ARP editor that will bring any sound to life and animate it just the way you want it. Let's start! One of the unique features of Kista Pro is that it has three ARP editors. What makes it even more unique is that these ARP editors can run in different scales, octaves, time signatures and directions simultaneously. To enter the arpeggio mode, simply press the R button on one of the three ARP equipped tracks. Once there, when the play button is on, every note that you will play will be repeated and played one after another according to the current ARP settings. As you would expect, chords on the other hand will be split into the individual notes and played back one after another based on the current settings. You can use the hold button to keep the arpeggio running and freeing your hands for other actions and movements. The ARP also responds to the encoders while the arpeggio is running. My favorite is the randomness one. When used together with the user scale, it will change the pitch of the individual notes in the arpeggio pattern while staying in your scale. Sounds really nice. With this method you can start with just one or two notes and build on top of that to achieve some interesting results. We will cover all the scales features in the next episode. Kiste Pro's ARP is also equipped with a few playback directions. These are marked in blue and are available when used with the shift button. The default setting is called order and it plays back your arpeggio in the same order you have triggered the keys. The up mode will play the notes from the first to the last one and the down will do the opposite. Outside of that you can also use the exclusive and inclusive modes, as well as the random one. The last one is called poly and it will play and repeat your chord as a triad, allowing for some special polyphonic arpeggiated results. Within your arpeggiated melodies you can also change the octave range from minus 1 to plus 3. All this is available with the use of the shift button. Proposed time divisions vary from 4ths through 8ths and 16ths up until 30 second notes. Within those modes you can also activate the triplets. To do so, press the shift plus triplet buttons. Chord mode is a feature that makes it easy to play chords with just one finger. To activate it, press and hold shift plus tie and rest buttons while adding your notes, either playing them as a chord or one by one. You can play up to 16 notes on the keyboard. This will create your chord that you can then trigger with a single key. This feature works in all the keystep pro modes, but there is something in it that will take your arpeggiated patterns to the next level, making it super easy to play fast polyphonic scale quantized arpeggios. Sounds pretty nice. Having this feature at your disposal, you will never look at ARPs in the same way again. While it's playing, feel free to add some randomness to it, change the time divisions, and try different octaves and pattern directions. As you can see, the ARP editor's features and the way that they can interact with each other are pretty deep and allow for achieving unusual results. Thanks for staying with me and see you in the next episode.